way things look right now, all of Central Florida will see some impacts from the storm. But by far, the worst part is expected to be in the Big Bend area. That is why we sent News 6's Eric Sandoval to Perry, right there in the Big Bend. So, Eric, what are people doing to prepare for this storm? Well, actually, Matt and Lisa, we've already seen some of the first bands of rain come through here. That's why my hair is a little disheveled and a little wet. Before those bands hit, though, they pretty much spent the day making sure that they have a place to come back to work. This is uh, Debbie's Jewelry Store right here on the main drag in downtown Perry. You can see they've already lined the sandbags here. They have boarded up all of the windows here, and it's pretty much the same up and down Main Street here. Here's why they did this. This hurricane will be the third storm, major hurricane to hit this area in the last 13 months. And this one is really expected to pack a punch. You still have time to make the preparations and put your plan in place today, but that time is, is running out. And it's running out fast. State leaders are preparing for the worst. Conditions may very well, in the wide range of possibilities, be a Cat 1 all the way to a Cat 4. Many areas to the south are already beginning to feel the impact from the storm. Part of that impact is tropical storm force winds and rains lashing the Keys and southern Florida. In the hours ahead, those conditions will intensify and batter the entire western coastline before an expected landfall in the Big Bend area Thursday evening. Many of our counties, if not all of them, have called for low-lying and manufactured housing evacuations already. A term being used a lot by officials this week, you can hide from the wind, but you can't run from the water. If you do have a major surge and you stay behind, that is potentially hazardous. Many veterans of previous hurricanes like Ian and Adalia are opting to stay put. I always draw up lots of water ahead of time, make sure I got food in the house, all that. We're going surfing, we're hitting those waves. Still, others know staying is risky. If you're a godly person, pray because uh, I don't really need this. Neither do any of us. <laughs> All right, back out here in uh, downtown Perry, you can see some of the few cars that are probably making their way home from work right now. We talked to fire rescue officials down the street earlier, and they say that they're hoping what they call small town stubbornness isn't gonna set in, basically people refusing to leave. Because of that, an eight o'clock curfew has been set up starting tonight. Of course, we're going to be riding out the storm until it's over and bringing you live coverage of it. For now, we are live in Taylor County in the Big Bend area of Florida. Eric Sandoval getting results. News 6, back to you. Yeah, Eric, none of us need this right now, that's for <laughs> sure.